Morning, and welcome to Fort Seller Elementary School. This is your principal, Mr. Lynn, and I hope that you had a wonderful Wednesday yesterday. Today is Thursday, March 17th, 2022, and it is a day four. Now, before we kick off this wonderful day, I want to invite you, as I always do, to participate in the Mindful Minute. The Mindful Minute is a good way to get yourself to settle, to notice what's going on right here and right now. There's so much going on in the world, so much going on in our lives that we're so caught up in it that we forget that there are true blessings right here and right now, okay? So let's use our eyes first and scan your environment, catch, you know, allow your eyes to be caught by something that you're grateful for and simply study that item, look at it, identify what it is, what it's used for, the texture of its materials, the colors, how far away it is, things like that. With your nose, breathe in and breathe out what do you notice with your sense of smell what do you pick up you know what does it remind you of with your skin just allow your skin to notice what sensations it pick up it picks up right whether it's the temperature of the room whether it's your clothing whether it's the tightness of your clothing how loose it is how soft your clothing is um you know things like that and then last but not least, with your ears, just pause and listen there too. Notice and identify the sounds that are happening right here that you didn't notice before, but now you're noticing because you're paying attention. And if you are paying attention, you have achieved a level of presence. Now, to help us with that presence, let's continue and notice our body. Notice that we exist. Notice that chair holding you up. And if your feet are on the floor, notice how the floor is holding up your feet. All right. Very good. Okay. Now, we're going to move into the breathing part of our uh, practice right here. And I'm going to continue to use Thea's breathing technique. Okay. Remember, that's a sunrise and sunset. Breathe in and out. Okay. So, get yourself ready. I like to close my eyes, you don't have to, but let's go ahead and pay attention to how beautiful that breath feels as you breathe in through your nose, sunrise, and then out through your mouth, sunset. Allow your shoulders to relax. Allow your body to settle into that chair. Breathe in again. Mm. Notice how amazing that breath feels, and then breathe out. Allow yourself once again to settle in. Be aware. If your mind is off as you bring, breathe in again, thinking about other things, just pause your mind and invite it back as you breathe out to the amazing of this moment, not the past and not the future. Breathe in again. Nice and slowly let it out. While you're at this, while we're actively paying attention to what is around us and within, breathe in, pay attention to your body and focus in, put a spotlight on a part of your body you hadn't thought about recently and just pay attention to it. Breathe out. Notice the sensations, how it feels, pleasant or unpleasant feelings. Breathe in and notice that they're real. Read it in your mind. Breathe out. And while we're at this, also pay attention as you breathe in. Sunrise here. What feelings and emotions you brought to school? Breathe out. Sit with those feelings. Just like any feeling, they may be uh, pleasant or unpleasant. Breathe in. Just simply allow yourself to enjoy or simply notice or relish that feeling that sense of happiness or even frustration enthusiasm things like that breathe in and breathe out don't push those feelings away let them in try to understand their message now in a moment you'll hear a bell or a chime listen to it as it gets quieter and quieter and when you can't hear it anymore, you may then open your eyes and awaken to the world that is around you.
Welcome to a new day right here at the fort where you're loved, where you're cared for, and where we want you to succeed. Now, whether you have a great day or not, that's ultimately your choice. So choose wisely. Yeah, choose wisely. You can choose to choose unwisely, but that doesn't make for a great day. So choose wisely, work at it, and enjoy the rewards. At this moment, please stand and face the flag for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Thank you. You could go ahead and take a seat. I want to thank you for joining me in the Mindful Minute. It's always nice to know that you're joining me. Don't forget, we have three expectations here at the school. Number one, you're respectful. Be respectful. You know, when your teachers ask you to do things, I know that sometimes they'll ask you to do things that you really like to do. And then they're sometimes going to ask you to do things that you don't want to do. I get it. I've been a kid before. And you know what? I, I hate to say it. The older you get, you're going to find out that people are still going to ask you to do things. And sometimes you don't want to do it. Sometimes you do want to do it. Regardless if it is the right thing for your teacher to ask you to do, whether it's to do your homework, to read something, to write something, to sort something, work at it. Don't give up. Not giving up is a classic example of giving respect. And at the same time, when it's your turn to express yourself, when it's your turn to share instructions, maybe you get to share instructions, other people should give you that same respect and give it a go. Okay. In the end, you want to be respectful to others, but you want to be respectful to yourself. At the end of the day, when you look yourself in the mirror, I hope that you're proud of the things that you've done, even if nobody else saw it. Also, show responsibility with your hand, with your feet, with the words that come out of your mouth. And yes, more and more, I'm trying to get you to pay attention to this, how you think, how you feel. It's okay to feel bad about things. It's okay to feel frustrated about things. But at some point, you have to pause and say, you're in control of your life, and you can choose to allow yourself to have a happy day, to have a happy day or not. And it all starts with how you are going to see things, how you're going to feel about things that are asked of you. And if you're encouraging to others, and if you're encouraging to yourself, and you use your mind to be kind and compassionate and encouraging, then the things that you do, your actions, with your words, with your feet, with your hands, They'll all be encouraging and compassionate and kind as well. It just, it just That's just how it works, okay? And last but not least, show that you're ready. I already said this. One of the best ways to show respect is to not give up. Don't give up. School is meant to be hard. It's meant to be challenging. And I encourage you not to give up. And once again, more of, more of you guys are beginning to notice those times in the day when maybe you feel like giving up. And more and more of you guys are also noticing whenever you get to that moment where you feel like giving up, and you don't, that's a moment where you get to celebrate. And more and more of you guys are also now beginning to share those stories with me. I get to hear some of them at lunch. I get to hear some of them when you guys stop me in the hallways. And I love every single one of those stories. When you share, when you don't give up. All right. Now, our character trait for the month of March is cooperation. Okay. That means working together, achieving great things. Okay. There's a lot of things you can do on your own to achieve your own personal greatness. But there's some great things that can only be achieved when we work together like a team. That includes making our school an amazing school. No one kid can do it. No one teacher, no one principal can do it. But if we all encourage each other, we all root for each other, I think we could do it together. But it's got to be together. Last but not least, I love you just the way you are. I truly mean that. You guys are still sharing that message. I still hear it from you guys each and every day, and that's amazing. I'm also knowing that many of you guys are sharing that with each other, with your friends. And if you haven't done so recently, go look at your teacher and find him or her and tell them you like them just the way they are too because they're putting in a lot of work to make your school experience worth it. All right? So let's practice the three Bs. Let's live in the moment, let's breathe in that amazing air, and let's encourage each other. Here's the teamwork, here's the cooperation. Have an amazing Thursday.